I want to make sure I get a good solid headshot so it's a one one shot kill here. Oh man, he moved right when I pulled the trigger. Son of a... Okay, he's dead. One shot, one kill. Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to go hit the Northern Cave. So, um, let's make sure we are prepared for that because that's going to be um, a tough situation. Uh, so, we are going to want bandages. So we're going to want um, some antidotes. Let's take a couple antidotes with us. Um, and I want to make, uh, let's see here. I want to make probably, let's bring five health kits with us. Uh, oh, I guess we're we're out of medicinal tonic. Um, we could make some more of those. So let's see. That's going to give us four, so we're going to need one more. So we'll craft two of those, and that should be enough to, to do that. <clears throat> Put that back in there. Put those back in there. Um, oh, actually, we already have a medicinal tonic, so we, we don't need to craft that one either. So we'll put that back. Okay, so while we're waiting uh, for that, let's also make sure that we have um, a bunch of bandages. Let's just, like, craft... See, we have three, so that's eight, uh, five, eight, nine, ten. So let's make sure we have ten bandages with us. And then, um, as soon as this tonic is done. I want to do one more health kit. So five health kits and ten bandages. Okay. Uh, we'll put this back in here and that back in there. All right. Now we also want to make sure we have lots of picks with us. So uh, we've got uh, about one and a half-ish picks there. So let's grab some of this and some of this and some of this and let's make say two more picks. Just so we have plenty of picks, because, you know, crystal's the main thing that we're after down there. And we want to make sure we don't run out of pick action. Okay, so we got that done. Let's put this away. Uh, let's see. We're not going to take... Um, we're going to just take our pistol and our magnum. So we're going to leave all the rest of our weapons behind. So that way, if the worst happens, we haven't lost everything. And we were getting a lot of 9 mil ammo off of the hunters the last time we were in a cave, so... Um, here, let's leave our lockpick behind, too. We're not going to need that down there. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we were getting a lot of 9 mils off of them, so that way it'll, you know, kind of help supply us with ammo as we go through. Uh, let's make sure this is fully repaired. Uh, oh, yeah, grab the magnum. So we got the magnum there. I've got 33 magnum rounds. Um, which isn't a ton, but hopefully, you know, we'll use the pest we'll use the pistol on the bats. And I'm trying to think if I should maybe take my bow too. Nah, I mean it's hmm, let's not. It's an upgraded recurve bow. I would really hate to lose it. It would suck. Um, I mean it's gonna suck if we lose this stuff too. But at least we're not losing everything, you know. Um, so we have 27 magnum rounds plus we'll have the nine mil rounds, which we didn't have last time. I'm going to bring this um, splint with us just in case, you know, we break our leg down there, which is entirely possible. Uh, we want to have our climbing gear, of course, and we have all those picks, so we're good to go. We'll bring that as a light. Now, of course, we're going to need our diving gear, so let's bring, um, let's just bring four full tanks. That should be good enough uh, to get to where we need to go, because, excuse me, we're just going to dive into the cave and get back out, and then we need the air to get back out of the cave itself. My armor is uh, fully repaired, so we're good in good shape that uh, in that regard. So let's see. Let's make sure our chickens are topped off with food and water. Um, I don't have any actual chicken food for them at the moment, so we're going to have to give them some veggies. I got quite a few onions and carrots, so let's just... Um, let's split that in half, and we'll split these in half. 
And maybe some blueberries. We'll split those in half, too. And see between all of those if that's going to be enough for them. Uh, okay, so split in half. See how I have that gets them. Okay. Ninety-nine hundred. Okay, and then how high does one water go for you? Yeah, let's give you two waters just to just to make sure. So we'll give give them those two things and two waters. There you go. All right, chickens are in good shape. Um, I don't know exactly where my crops are up above, but if if they run out of of water, they don't die. They just stop growing. So we can I can fix those up later when we get back. <clears throat> okay, now for our own sustenance, we're gonna take half of these protein bars let's just take 40 and that'll take care of our protein while we're gone oh my goodness i'm thirsty i just realized that i myself am thirsty we're gonna take three canteens down there because we can then use the hunter fires um you know to fill those back up for ourselves and so the only thing that we don't have wait i suppose we could t just take this for our carbs um <clears throat> Yeah, let's just do that, because that's the only preserved carbs I have. If we took, like, these, I could possibly lose them if I wasn't careful, which I don't want to do. Um, and speaking of which, let's eat one of those right now and one of those right now. So we're fully, fully good to go um, for the trip out. Now, um, we've got climbing hooks, or, I mean, the climbing axes. We've got spare picks. We've got as much ammo as I currently have to bring. we got antidotes five health packs, 10 bandages, a light, our air tank. Everything's repaired. I think we're good to go. I have a feeling like I'm missing something though, but I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Let's top off uh, you guys. And I'm gonna turn these off for now. Because I just want to make sure we don't run out of power while we're out and about. In fact, I'm going to turn... Uh, we're just going to disable this for now, too. Uh, so so those two jennies should fill the power all the way up and then it'll shut off. Um, but we still should be good to go until we get back. All right, guys. I think we're ready to go. Uh, I can't think of anything else we might need. I was thinking about maybe bringing the glider... Um, and what we'll do is we'll glide to our outpost, and then we'll leave the glider at the outpost, of course. So let's get rolling here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, nope. I don't want any bear action right now. Son of a bitch is chasing us. Go away. Okay, so we'll head up to <clears throat> this side of the mountain, the right side of the mountain, to a high point, and then see if we can glide down to our outpost, just to save us a little bit of running. Not only does that save us a bit of time, but it also saves us a little bit of calorie calories, too. So yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope we're as, as prepared as we can be to go down there. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll see. <laughs> <coughs> we shall see. Oh, shit. I didn't fully repair my pistol. I was going to do that. I knew I was forgetting something. It's in pretty good shape, though. It's not in, in such bad shape that we got to go back in kind of bad shape. So I think we'll probably be okay. So this was more or less the same place we ran to to jump off on the other side. Excuse me. So let's just get up to this point, maybe. And then we should be able to jump off there. And we're aiming for uh, right down there, I think, is where our outpost is. Okay, so let's get this on the toolbar. And here we go. Yeah, this saves us a little time. It's fun. And... Saves us a little bit of calorie burning, too, so I love it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, man. The question is, are we going to actually make it all the way there? I guess we're going to find out here in a moment. Oh, there's some there's some rogues down there. Will they attack us if we fly by? Oh, are they aggroed? 
No, they don't seem to give a shit about us. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather not mess with them right now anyway. Doesn't look like we're going to make it all the way there, but we sure did make it most of the way there, which is pretty good. But we'll land right here. Nice, gentle landing. I'll take it. I've never been in this cave before, so I don't know what to expect. It'll be a different layout than the south cave that we've been in twice now, I think. But even the south cave, we haven't fully... Ex oh, is that a lock? Creek? No, it's not. Uh, we haven't fully, fully explored the south cave either because there was that spot we couldn't go any further without the climbing axis. All right, so we're going to put you in there. Uh, I didn't need to bring all of that biofuel with me, <clears throat> but we did, so there you go. All right, um, anything else we should... I hear footsteps. I don't want to fight these guys right now. I don't have the ammo for it. Maybe they, they must have followed us over here. Unless this is a different set of rogues. Let's just lie low for a second and see if they'll go away. What I'm going to do, let's see if he paths back around the corner again. Oh, no, he's coming back this way now. <clears throat> if he goes back around that corner again, then what we'll do is run out the door and go this way. I mean, again, normally that would have been an easy-peasy kill, but we've got to save our ammo for the cave hunters. Okay, well, that was a waste of friggin' time. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at our map. So the cave's actually way over there. Okay, why don't we just swim out there? And then when we get out there, I'll put the, the diving tank on. It's getting dark, but that's okay. It doesn't that doesn't change anything down in the cave itself. Okay. Uh right about here I'm thinking is where it is. Okay, let's put this on and head on down. Wow, this is a deep lake. So it's supposed to be somewhere right around in here. I would normally grab that clam there, but I want to save as much inventory space as, as we possibly can here. I guess we can't swim in the third person. Okay, new cave, guys. We have not been in here yet. This should be interesting. Almost looked like we had to go <clears throat> down to go up. All right, there's an opening that way and an opening this way. Let's try this one first. Uh, I'm just looking around to make sure there's no fires. All right, here, let's go over here. <clears throat> Let's get this on. Here we are. New cave. All right. So let's go this direction. Uh, we definitely want to grab the phosphorus. I mean, we're going to grab everything because it's worth grabbing. We'll get the coal for the fire. Obviously, the main thing we're after down here, though, is the... The crystal, but, well, I'd say the crystal and the phosphorus, because I'm really digging the incendiary rounds. Let's just look up here really quick and see if there's anything to see. 
Not really seeing anything else. Let's go over here. Yeah, well, the base is going to have to hold its own for now. Which it should be able to do. Just check and see if there's any more resources down this way, which doesn't appear like there is. Okay, let's run this way. I don't think we're going to be able to get around those guys without engaging them, so... Let's get ready to do that. And, of course, we want to keep our eyes peeled for, for bats as well. We're going to kill them with our pistola. Oh, wow, this goes way back up in here. I wonder if these caves are approximately the same size or if one of them's larger than the other. One thing's for sure, they're, they definitely seem to be... Uh, well, they're larger than I thought they would be, and I've already mentioned that in previous videos when we've been down here. And I, I really like, like them, too. It adds a lot to the game. So we're further away from those hunters than... I thought we were going to be able to, to get, you know. I thought that might be like a little choke point, but apparently it isn't, so that's good. We're just going to kind of stay to the left-ish as we make our way through here. Okay, here's some more crystal. Very nice. So one of the main things <clears throat> that we're going to start using this crystal for, well, there's two things. We still need it for weapon upgrades, and I would like to do more upgrades on our weapons. And But we're also going to need it to make the premium arrows, because I want to start using those. Just listening for footsteps. I want to start using those since we have, you know, so many of the feathers now. So let's just keep our eyes peeled. Go up this way. I like the purple, blue, green lighting and stuff that's in here. I don't know what causes it though. There doesn't appear to be an actual source for it. It's just the lighting of the of the game. But it still looks cool. Okay, so nothing back in this little cubby. All right, I'm not seeing any hunters yet. Let's grab this coal. Very cool underground waterfall, man. Is there anything behind here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so we have a larger waterfall. And I wonder if that's where we came up at. Unless that's a different part, a uh, different place. Kind of hard to say. Let's go peek around this corner for a minute. There's a hunter way over there, too. There's a bunch of them. And another passageway. Interesting. Okay, let's go over here. So it looks like we can, <clears throat> excuse me, get down that way from this direction. All right. So 
So far, so good. There's some shrooms. Let's grab those. Chicken feed, man. That's what that is. I'm guessing <coughs> Cold Games is going to implement those in cooking in a net later version, maybe? Perhaps? Okay, let's stay crouched as we kind of move around this corner. There's their fire. Okay, we got a crystal here, but I just want to peek my head up this way first. Okay, I don't see anything, so I think we're good to harvest this. Stay along the wall here. Here's some coal. So I'm guessing it's probably, uh, whoops, it's probably past midnight now, by now, because the sun was going down when we dove. Because what I don't want to do, assuming these hunters work the same as the other ones, I don't want to kill them right before midnight because then they'll just respawn again. Okay, so we got that guy over there. This is probably not a bad place to engage them because we have some cover, unless we wanted to get a little closer, like behind these st stalagmites. This we have... Oh, man, there's at least four of them down here. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> okay. Um... Just trying to think of how the best way is to engage these assholes. I'd kind of like to stay here because then I've got all this cover. It's just a long ways out. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's go to these stalagmites here. I don't s really see a better place up there. If we stay here, we have, like, two fronts we have to watch. You know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to run back this way. See if it's possible to pull <clears throat> just one of them back. Not have to take on all of them at exactly the same time. I hear multiple foots. Oh, shit. All right, we got him. We one-shot him, too, which is exactly what we want to do. Okay, let's reload quick. Not sure where they're coming from exactly. We need to keep watching that area and this area over here. Come on, dumbasses. Show your face. These guys are so stupid. Keep shooting at the rock. Yep, that's what, that's what you need to do. <clears throat> Oh, did one of them shoot the other? He must have. <laughs> That's exactly what I need you guys to do. Kill each other for me, please. Thank you. That's funny. So they have their own friendly fire. All right. Well, this isn't working, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move. Oh shit! Oh, I was gonna say I was stuck for a second. Here. I just don't know. Okay, let's go around this way. You know what? This guy's stuff's probably going to despawn quick, so let's grab it. Because we might end up needing it later. They just hit each other again. That is hilarious. Okay, 
Okay, I think I one shot. Yeah, I did kill that guy. Right in the head, man. They're dead. One shot right in the head with our upgraded magnum. This, remember, this is a level two upgraded magnum. All right. Woo. That was a little intense. Their, their AI is definitely need some work. Uh, definitely need some work, though, in terms of their pathing, because, you know, the idiots were shooting each other. And they kept shooting at the wall instead of at me, you know, coming around to get me. So, yeah, it needs a little work. But, nevertheless, you managed to pull that off. I didn't even have to take a medipack, too. I took a couple bandages, but not a medipack. Um, did they... What did they drop? They dropped um, some ore for us, and uh, these these are the this is the ammo that they tend to drop the most, and that's why I brought the pistol down here, so they can supply us with ammo. Okay. Whew. Let's go ahead and grab this. And what's in here? Just some burned meat. Nah, we're not going to take that with us. Um, I don't have any anything to cook, do I? Uh-uh. If we kill the bat, you know what we should probably do, actually? We got some wood off them. Let's stoke this fire. I guess we can eat that. There's no harm in eating it. <clears throat> Made us a little thirsty. Um, okay, so let's eat three of these. And that gets us... Wow, look at that. Pretty much all the way to the top. Okay, let's eat one of these. That'll definitely get us up to the top. <clears throat> and then we're going to drink up and refill our water. And then we got a couple of, of crystal nodes to grab too while we're here. All right, so, so far, so good. Whoop. Come on, get over there. Yeah, we should. We definitely want to take advantage of their fires when we come across them. <clears throat> okay, good. So we're we're in pretty good shape. I think we can, you know, as long as we play our cards right and don't have any real bad luck, we could stay down here for a while. Um, to do all this. Okay, while we're waiting for that water, let's go grab this crystal here. And then I saw another one off that way, too. The one question I have, though, is, is this the group of hunters that we first saw when we came in here? In other words, did we go around? Uh, we'll, we'll go over that way and see if that's actually the case. <clears throat> okay. I'm just I'm going to stoke this again. I'll go ahead and grab the ash, but that'll be the first thing to go if we need to free up some space. Um... Yeah, okay, let's keep going. And then, you know, if we have to come back this way at some point, we can. Now, what I want to know is, again, is this where we came in at? And do, and the, are these the hunters we first saw or not? I'm going to say probably not. I think that looks different over there. All right, well, then let's just stick with our plan of, you know, kind of staying to the left. I'm going to go check in this little cubby here to see if this is anything. No, it just wraps around this way. Okay. So I thought maybe there was another passage through here, but it looks like maybe there isn't. So let's grab this. Yeah, it just ends there. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a bat. Oh, interesting. So he doesn't... Is he stuck or has he just not seen us? Because we, we ran right through here. Son of a bitch. This pistol sucks, man. I'm just... Just going to throw that out there. Or my aim sucks. You guys choose. Okay, so this little bastard will give us 
some meat and hide. The latter of which we can use to remake bandages. And then the meat we can cook up for a little protein on the hunter's fire. Oh, there's a, <clears throat> a coal node too that we'll grab. Let's get the meat cooking first. And then we'll grab that coal while we're waiting for it. Try and make the most efficient use of our time here. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> we'll grab this. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to do while we're here at the moment. Probably not. I suppose we could drink one more thing of water just because we can. So, yeah, let's do that. Thought I saw a phosphorus thingy over there, but it's not what it was. <clears throat> yeah, this is a good this is a good place for the jam because it's, you know, we get a lot, like 70 fruits and vegetables out of it. <clears throat> Plus it's preserved. I mean, I'm keeping it in the fridge, but I'm pretty sure this won't spoil. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of preserving stuff, you know, so it doesn't spoil. Let's eat that protein to top off. We can let our fruits and veggies get down really low before we eat one of those too because we do get so much of it. Okay, so come on, dude. There we go. Uh, let's stoke the fire with the, the boards. Chances are we'll, we're going to come across another group of hunters and we can use their fire, but for now, let's just keep that one going as long as we can in case we do end up needing to use it later. And it doesn't, you know, go out by then. Okay, time for new territory, baby. We managed to kill all of those hunters with one shot from the Magnum 2, which is great. Absolutely fan friggin' tastic Because we have to conserve our ammunition. Last time we were in the cave, we ran out of ammo, but... Um, I wasn't... I, I don't remember how much I brought down with me. Okay, there's some phosphorus up there. Let's go... Look through that way. Okay, we're going to grab this phosphorus. <clears throat> Um, but then we have this passageway here, which is a little different than the one we've been using. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, a little bit, it's a different direction. It's to the right, not the left. <clears throat> sorry, my brain does work sometimes. Uh, so let's just keep staying to the left for now, but we'll try and remember that there's another passageway going up that direction. Okay, let's go through here. We'll check back behind here and see if there's any crystals or anything. <clears throat> nope, it's just when it keeps going to the same area. I don't know if it's just me, but man, it seems like this cave might be a bit, little bit larger than the other one. So we came down through that way. Let's go to the left this way. All right, there's another fire. <clears throat> I'm wondering if this is the entrance that we came up. Maybe. It's kind of hard to say. Let's take these guys out. I'd kind of like to find that entrance again just so I know we can get out of here. <laughs> you know? Uh, all right. Where are we at, boys and girls? Oh, wait a minute. That's where we were just down here, weren't we? How did I get turned around like that? Uh, I don't know. Didn't we go? We went this way. Right? Because I don't think that goes anywhere or does it? Man, it is really easy to get turned around down here. 
This is where we killed the bat. Okay, yeah, we must have just gone around in a circle. <clears throat> okay, well, let's go back this way then. Yeah, we must have... We must have gone back around there and then just, like I said, circled around again. Because I recognized that fire when I was down there looking at it. I'm going, wait a minute, that looks familiar. <clears throat> so... Yeah, okay, we must we must have gone that way, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little, a little bit turned around, but let's just go this way. Let's go up to this water coming down out of the ceiling. Okay, there's Hunter down there. There's a big pool down there, so that may have been where we came in at. We're going to investigate that. come down through here there's some crystal over there and some coal right here this is why we brought this Doity rant. Or actually, it's more like a dirty bat. Some shrooms. Um, can we very carefully hop down here without breaking our leg? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Grab this crystal. Let's go through here. Another crystal. I'm not going to try and save the picks for the... Well... I mean, yeah, we'll try and save the picks for the Master Cycler as long as we have room. But if we start running out of space, then they can go. Okay, so I saw Hunters kind of down in that area. Grab this coal here. Anything up this way? No, there's... Okay, there's the new camp right there. Okay. They've already <coughs> sighted us. Um, let's go back up this way so we have a little more cover here. That way they can't flank us. They have to come this way. I want to make sure I get a good solid headshot so it's a one-shot one, one shot kill here. Oh man, he moved right when I pulled the trigger. That son of a... Okay, he's dead. One shot, one kill. Okay, I was just listening to hear, uh, see if I could hear any more footsteps. Won't these guys drop better ammo? 
they're supposed to be like the most dangerous hunters in the game, and I, I'll tell you what, I have not seen that. They don't seem to be any more dangerous than normal hunters. From what I've seen. Okay, we've got to get rid of something. So that something's going to be... Um, Don't want to get rid of anything. Oh, the ash, yeah. That is not as important as five copper fragments. Uh, okay, did we get all their loots, loot bags? I think we did. I don't see anything more. All right, let's get down to their fire and get it stoked because we have a piece of meat we can cook. Uh-oh, uh is there fire out already? Uh, I think it went out because wasn't it like right over here? That sucks. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Okay, we'll put this wood on there and put the meat on. Let's go ahead and drink. We'll just eat this. No, it makes us a little thirsty, but that's okay. I guess, um, I mean, you could eat these for your carbs, too. How much did this give? It's 15. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, we might as well. Maybe that's, maybe that's actually why he put the mushrooms down here in the first place. You can get meat from bats, you can get carbs from mushrooms, and you can use the hunter fires to cook. And, and, yeah, I'll bet you that's it. I'll bet you that's exactly it. So that may have been where we came out. We're going to investigate and see if there's a entrance uh, uh, or an exit, I should say, back out to the lake. Um, but we've done really well so far. I still have 19 um, magnum rounds plus six in the weapon, and we've killed every hunter with one shot so far. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way for the whole rest of the time, but so far we've done really well. So let's wait for this guy to cook. Okay, we can't eat, actually eat him right now, but that's fine. And we must have had, gotten a little bit of protein from the mushrooms too. Okay. So let's just let that burn in case we want to come back later and use it again. And now we come to a big pool. Uh, I don't think this is the same pool we came in, but remember there were two. There were two ways to get to go. Yeah, okay, so we know for sure this is one of those exits. And probably the other one is going to be over... Oh, no! You know what? This is... I think this is where we came in at. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, beautiful. So now we know where the exit is. Fantastic. I have no way of telling what time of day it is down here, but here's the thing. We're in really good shape. Uh, you know, fruit and vegetable and, and water-wise, we've got an extra thing of protein. we got all of these. we got the fruit. We have the ability to make more water if we need to. I think we're going to stay down here longer and get more resources. Uh, I'm not worried about the base because, um, you know, we, we should have plenty of power for the, the fridge. So it makes, I think it just makes sense for us to stay down here a little longer since, you know, we, we get some pretty rare resources down here. So let's do it. Uh, but what I think I might do, you guys, is, yeah, we've, we've gone pretty long. So I, th I think what I'm going to do is cut the camera. Well, no, what I'm going to do is officially end the video. But I'm going to keep the camera rolling in case something really crazy happens down here. Uh, like me getting killed, for example. And then um, <clears throat> I will capture uh, anything crazy happening on camera and show it to you guys as, you know, little excerpts in the next episode. So uh, let's officially end the episode here. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.